Good afternoon, everybody. It is the first day of Grace Hopper, which is actually so crazy because I have been looking out for this event for so long, guys. Like, this has been super hyped up, and so many people told me to go, especially when I was like in Disney. People were like, You need to go to this event, it's like the best event ever. Today's like the first day, which is like the most relaxed day. It's just orientation. I think I have like one workshop but tomorrow is where all the workshops and speakers and everything goes on so i am booked to literally tomorrow from like 9 to like 9 30 p.m or something like that and it's the same on thursday so i'm definitely gonna need a lot of energy but i am feeling super excited yet really really nervous and i cannot wait to meet all these other girls who are interested in the same thing that I am and also just meeting so many inspiring people. I am just super excited and again, just a little nervous. But anyways, let's get to it. Okay, so I quickly wanted to show you guys how I have been preparing for Grace Hopper because I think this is really helpful and has helped me so much. So basically, I just got this college world uh, notebook and what it is is just like all like computer science uh fundamentals and basically what i do is that i just go on leak code and whatever i do online i pass it over here in order for it to be like engraved in my head just because if you guys don't know i do not have the stereotypical computer science background i was actually an electrical engineer so i did not take those like really intense computer science classes so i am self-taught and i'm really happy about that so yeah i just write down concepts that i have on here and again just like write it all out here yeah i just wanted to show you guys because it is really useful to aside from just coding online to actually write it out and really just um engrave it in your head so i just kind of wanted to show you guys this celebration, we will engage with leaders who are advocating for women in technology. Hear from today's technology superstars. Meet the women who are creating the technology of tomorrow. craziness but anyways today was really really fun it was packed with events and it's still not over yet i actually have two networking events that are about to start in like an hour or half an hour with google and workday so that's a little exciting but today was very busy i started well it started off with the keynote speaker which was really inspiring and i really liked it a lot so i really felt the energy and just being again surrounded by so many women who are in technology who are starting their own businesses within technology and all that is so exciting and so inspiring and then from there i decided to just like sit down on a table and kind of just go over a lot of concepts and go over coding problems and all that for an interview that I was gonna have later on, like at noon. So I was just really focusing on that and making sure that I knew everything. So I couldn't really go to any of the workshops uh, during that time or anything, which is kind of sad, but gotta do what you gotta do. So I ended up just 
really um taking the time to study and then i took the interview i think i killed it i think i got it and it was the final one so hopefully fingers crossed that i get it i don't know i don't know when we're here back but that was that was good and then from there i ended up going to like a workshop oh no before the workshop i went to the career fair and i kind of just saw and got a sense of where everything was and where everything was like located so i kind of just got a feel for it i got some fun stickers fun swag but yeah after the career fair i ended up going to one workshop which was about innovation and just how to think about um innovative products within the company so it's kind of like entrepreneur like making new products within the company which always calls my attention i think that's so awesome so i went to a workshop about that and that was really cool and then um after that i kind of just walked around took some pictures and now i'm back in my hotel room just recovering from just talking to so many people and being around people i'm finally on my own <laughs> breathing <laughs> so that's what i'm doing right now and then later on i'm gonna have two networking events and i'll try to record what's going on but if i can't do that much then you know why i don't want to just be like with my camera all up on people's faces so that is that but other than that grease helper has been amazing if you're a woman in technology especially if you're in computer software i would totally totally recommend this event for you because it is so amazing there's so many opportunities for you so definitely go 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 the third day of grace hopper so we are already kind of coming to an end but i wanted to show you guys my outfit i just keep referring this shirt honestly i feel like this is my favorite shirt like so far i just feel like it's so flattering it's actually really perfect because inside of the conference rooms it gets really cold so this makes me stay warm and it's just super simple and i think it's just really cute and then i am wearing these black um like slacks and i really love these they're just really plain and just a staple for your wardrobe and today i decided to curl my hair which i honestly love curling my hair now i think it just makes my hair look so much better especially since i did get a balayage recently so the collar uh, pops up a little bit which i really love and i'm also wearing the hair clip just because it is like a pop of color because honestly if i was just wearing this boring uh, black outfit it wouldn't look as good and i feel like this is just like a great accessory and then i always wear this tiffany's necklace i, I don't ever mention it because i literally always wear it and my boyfriend gave it to me so it has a special meaning so i never really take it off um so yeah that's my outfit oh and then i don't have shoes on but i think i'm probably gonna go wear sandals i've been actually wearing sandals because people are actually pretty casual here so sandals are a-okay so i'm wearing these like comfy sam sandals that i have so that is what i'm wearing and let me flip the camera around okay so today i'm probably gonna go inside the career fair just talk to i think two more companies that i had in mind so i'm probably gonna go do that and just like prepare my, my little pitch and all that so i'm probably gonna do that and then i have a woman in product brunch which i'm not in products management but I eventually want to get into it. So I really just look for advice for women who are already in product management just because I do want to prepare myself in order to get to that point later on. But I do want to be also like a dev just because I feel that you just gain so much respect if you come from a dev and then a product manager because you actually get the engineering side a lot, which is honestly, I feel like it's one of the harder parts to understand. So I kind of want to gain that recognition. That's why I want to be a dev first and then eventually transfer over. But yeah, obviously I'm going to this event just because I really want to know how to transition, know what like classes to take if I need to take extra classes. And it's with LinkedIn. So that should be really, really fun and just 
I'm all about meeting new people and building my network. After that, I do have some interviews lined up. It's only honestly just one, but probably gonna prepare for that as well. And then probably maybe uh, some workshops. And I also have a really exciting like Disney exclusive event going on at night, which is probably the what I'm looking forward to the most. Basically what it is is that we're gonna go to Hollywood Studios and there's gonna be a dinner and panelist and we got to go to the parks, which is so awesome. Yeah, that is pretty much all that I'm doing today. Let's go to the conference. <laughs> today I did not put an alarm or I wasn't planning on waking up early today just because I really wanted to get rest these past two days have been so hectic I've been doing stuff from like 9 a.m. till like 10 p.m. I didn't come back actually from Disney uh, World yesterday until I think it was already like 11 11 30 so I just decided to you know what like sleep in it was the last day of the conference and that is exactly what I did from there, I decided to exercise because I have not been working out and I feel like I need to work out. So I just did like a little bit of some exercises just here at home. And then from there, I am just going to head out and I'm probably going to hit up maybe a workshop. I don't know, maybe go to the career fair again, just interact with people. And then eventually I'm going to go to the keynote, the closing keynote. So that is pretty much it for Grease Hopper. It is coming to an end and offers, I know are gonna start coming in, so I'm really excited about that. <laughs> and other than that, it was a great experience and I truly recommend it for anyone who is in technology, especially if you're in computer science or have experience in software or computing. And so. I am wearing my outfit that I wore on the first day of the conference because it is casual and this is the only thing that I have that's like, casual but still like looking professional so that is what i'm wearing today i know it's just like the same thing and it's kind of boring but what can you do i did not bring that many clothes so gotta deal with it and honestly there's nothing wrong with wearing clothes so yeah this is what i'm wearing <laughs> <laughs> 